Right now, I want to talk to you about negative keyword management. A lot of times you'll see me abbreviate this in writing, NKW, negative keyword. So negative keywords really help you save time and money. So what is a negative keyword? It's any search or product you do not want to appear for. For example, let's say you're running an auto-targeting campaign for these shoes down below. You don't want to show up for kids' shoes or basketball shoes, you know, something maybe Amazon will trigger your ad for. Now, how will you interact with negatives? Well, anything that's an automatic targeting, a broad match or a phrase match, you're going to need to use negatives because invariably you're going to show up for things you don't actually want to appear for. And you are able to log into AdBadger to use negative keyword tools to prevent these irrelevant, unprofitable searches from really costing you money and taking money away from things that it should be spending on, things that are actually profitable. So to do this, we use the negative keyword nightly hunt and the quick attack. The negative keyword nightly hunt is like a safety net. Now, when you go into the negative keyword nightly hunt and you can figure out how to get there, it's keywords and targeting, negative keyword nightly hunt, click right there. You will see that there are three pre-built rules. Now, these nightly hunt rules will cover you in 99% of situations. It's actually really simple, really elegant, not much to do here. So essentially what AdBadger will do is go into your account every single day and check to see if there's over if there's any search that you are getting with over 2500 impressions and less than a 0.18 CTR and no sales this basically means it's things that get a lot of clicks but no conversion i'm sorry things that get a lot of impressions but no sales and we actually combine 6 months worth of data so if you have to stay you stay on adbudger for 6 months we will be able to look back at all 6 months in the future we'll extend this out even further then we will automatically block things that get a lot of spend, but no conversions. And then we'll block things that get a lot of clicks without conversion. So we have you covered on three fronts, a lot of impressions without sales, a lot of spend without sales, and a lot of clicks without sales. Now these, uh, for these metrics that we have, 35 clicks, 35 in spend, 2500 impressions, are based off averages from all AdBadger users. We'll get into tweaking these later, but in short, these are going to be great ideas, a fantastic safety net for 99% of accounts out there. So all you have to do is just click add this rule. It is like a safety net. Sometimes I see 10% savings in that very first month, uh, meaning if somebody's spending a thousand bucks a month, it's likely that this will help them save a hundred bucks a month or if somebody's spending 10,000. It's possible that this can help them save a thousand bucks. So this is a really powerful tool and it's super simple easy to set up now what if you wanted to customize those rules let's say you wanted to wait until 40 clicks or you wanted to take action when it's 20 clicks without a conversion some plans you are able to customize these nightly rules and to do that you could see that when you're looking at the negative keyword nightly hunt you see a rules and then a custom rule section and then you will see a pretty familiar setup here you'll name your rule how you want to add that a negative and you can add it as a negative exact or a negative phrase um, if it's a certain if it's a keyword and then where you want to add and I'll get into that in a second so negative exact or phrase and then you'll pick your time frame in which you wish to analyze generally the last 180 days is going to be your best bet then you get to decide where you want to add the negative so you can add a negative at the marketplace level, which will apply to every campaign you have. Or you can add it at the campaign level. That will trigger in the campaign that it was triggered in. Or you can add it specific to the ad group in which it was um, costing you money. So the ad group that triggered the search. 99% of the time, I go with ad group. You know, if it triggered in that ad group, I want to add it to that ad group. And then later I can check to see if I want to add it anywhere else. So that's how I do it. Then you get to set up your rule. Under what conditions do you want to turn something into a negative? Well, here we go. You have that familiar metric, greater than or less than, and then a number. So I generally do clicks. You could do clicks over, you know, clicks over 20, orders equal zero, for example, if you wanted to customize this rule. 
Uh, I, I generally just use the default ones. This is for those power users that really want to customize their negative keyword nightly hunt. So you can set up something like this, clicks over 20, orders equal zero. You can even preview the results. Then I did that, and what, what do I have here? Well, I have two things that looks like 27 clicks, 27 clicks. Uh, it looks like they spent you know $20, so it's over 20 clicks, no orders. I just click save rule, boom, I'm off to the races. So the negative keyword nightly hunt is powerful. It really does help you save time, money, and allows you to direct the ad spend that you're currently wasting towards more profitable searches for research. Now, when you hover over the keywords and targeting, you can see the negative keyword nightly hunt. Uh, one thing that you'll want to pay attention to is that in the nightly hunt, we've got the rules that we just set up. We've got custom rules that we just walked through how to set up. We've also got something called the never negatives. What is a never negative? Let's talk about it. This is an advanced feature that really only 10% of users will likely need to use. But what is a never negative? Let's say I'm Nike and I have my native keyword nightly hunt on. I look at my search term results and I see that, you know, Adidas shoes I'm showing up for. And Adidas shoes, you know, I'm getting 30 clicks without a conversion on it. But I don't want to stop appearing for Adidas shoes because I want to take up real estate. I'm willing to pay a lot extra if I can get a if I can get a conversion for somebody searching Adidas shoes and I'm Nike. So I want to keep appearing for it even though it will meet the requirements for my negative keyword nightly hunt. So what can I do? Well, I can add Adidas shoes as a never negative. That's really it. So I go type in Adidas shoes, block it from, and what this does. This prevents Adidas shoes from ever being added by the negative keyword nightly hunt as a negative exact. So your negative keyword nightly hunts, you've got negative exact in there. Adding Adidas shoes as a never negative, saying that I don't want to have Adidas shoes added as a negative exact at the marketplace campaign or ad group level will prevent the negative keyword nightly hunt from doing just that. So if you set it at the marketplace level, it will not add a D to shoes as a negative exact at the marketplace level. So that is the never negative. Uh, it's an advanced feature for that will allow you to continue to, to appear for things that uh, are not uh, that are above the thresholds that you just set up in your negative keyword nightly hunt. But again, this is an advanced feature. If you have any questions, we've got some more documentation on it. Uh, or of course, you can always write in, ask a few questions. Have a good one.